This is like the table of our dreams. It's absolutely stunning. It's always a special feeling when our clients get as excited as we do when they finally get to see their piece of furniture. And as you can see from the beginning of this video, it seems like we hit the nail on the head with this table. So this client came to us with a request for a walnut dining table with a resin river down the middle and a smoky gray pigment with a blackened ash egg space. So almost like the signature black forest table. We've built many pieces along this vein and it's something that we've become quite popular for in terms of design. And recently a lot of our pieces have been different from this. So it's kind of nice to go back to our roots and do something that we're very used to. So this is Canadian black walnut, meaning that we've sourced it from the Southern Ontario area. It's actually just outside of Toronto where this wood comes. And it was milled by our Amish suppliers out there. So they milled these slabs to three inches thick, they kiln dry them out there, and then they make our way out to our shop here in Alberta. So the process to start this table is gonna include cutting the slabs to their rough size so that they fit in the mold. From there, we flatten them on our CNC machine, not all the way down, but just so we can get lots of those rough sawn marks out and then we also use our sander to remove any of those rough sawn areas just in case there's some trap dirt or dust that's going to get released into our pour which we have had happen before on smaller pieces when we were first starting this you almost get this like just looks like dirty water that's floating up from any of those spots where you missed to clear off your dust This end. Right. We're hoping right. that measurements are followed correctly. Second. Get it back. Right. Ta-da. Now, I said this is like our signature black forest table, but I slightly lied because this isn't a true smoky gray resin pour that we're doing. We've added in some black, gold, and blue metallic pigment to try and pick up on some of the other colors in our client's space. So it's very subtle. When looking at the table from far, it's just gonna look like a standard smoky gray, but you'll see at the end of the video, when you get up close, you can see small flecks of that blue and gold, and it just does a really nice job of tying our client's space together. For the pour, as as you probably guessed, we're using our Black Forest Deep Resin as this is something that we've had custom manufactured to our requirements. So it allows us to pour these large voids without any issues of overheating, bubbles, or cracking. But it's also formulated to have a slight amount of elasticity as a cured product. So the reason we've included that in the formula, because it accounts for the expansion and contraction that these natural wooden slabs are gonna have over their life. And if you had a product that had no elasticity, you could risk separation of that edge over time. Something else that we didn't show in the video but is a critical part to the success of our resin pours is our mold is constructed with an aluminum sheet sitting beneath that white sheet of plastic. And then on top of that we have water cooling that runs underneath the entire table to lower the temperature of the resin during the cure cycle and ultimately delaying that cure cycle. The benefit to a delayed cure is the resin stays in a liquid state for a longer period of time and you have more time for those air bubbles to rise up to the surface and not get trapped on the inside of your pour. Then after that piece is sit in the mold for a week, we can get it demolded and lifted downstairs to begin the rest of the process. So it's gonna go directly back onto the CNC machine so that we can remove this entire shell of resin that's on the top and bottom of the table. Lots of people think that these tables are finished with a layer of resin on the surface, but that isn't actually the case. The only reason that we pour over the surface is so that we can fill in the majority of those cracks and voids in a single shot, but we want to remove all that off of the surface because we want the tactile experience of feeling the difference between the natural wooden grain sections of the table and the epoxy sections. If you were to just leave that epoxy over the surface, you wouldn't really be able to feel that difference, and it wouldn't exactly feel like wood. Once our flattening process has been completed, then we take our track saw to cut this piece down to its final size. Sometimes the resin will shrink slightly away from the mold, or if your tape wasn't completely flat to the outside of that mold, you'll get some imperfections. So by building that oversize, we give ourselves the room to cut all that off and get a nice perfect piece after sizing. Then it's the sanding process. So this is one of the least interesting but most time consuming parts of a table build. 
you're essentially repeating the same process over and over again, just switching your grits as you go up. Once the 320 grit sanding has been done, from there we can apply two coats of our Black Forest Furniture Oil. The grit that you sand to is gonna have a big role in determining not only how the table looks, but how the finish can protect your table. So by going up to 320 grit, we find we eliminate most of the sanding swirls, especially over the resin, but we haven't sanded too high so that we're sealing off the pores of the wood and interrupting the absorption of our oil product. Ultimately, the best looking thing would be to sand this as high as possible and then polish it. But if you were to go and do that before applying your oil, none of that is gonna be able to soak into the surface of the wood. You would quickly wear off the thin layer that you've applied on there with some use and it's gonna require refinishing quite regularly and also show lots of damage. So with this option, even with clients using their pieces every single day, you can probably easily go five years before you're gonna to need to refinish your table. A couple years back, we built some bar tops for a restaurant called The Sensory in Canmore, which is a mountain town up here in Alberta. And those pieces get used every single day. So it's their main bar, which they're serving drinks on, and then also a bunch of their dining tables. So I don't think those things get babied. They probably have spills that happen on them. And I know they're using all types of cleaners on them. And that was getting on to be five years ago now, and we have not had to go back yet to refinish those pieces. So if you're in Canmore or in Alberta, go pop on by the sensory to check those out. Now, a lot of the time we also like to sand in between our coats of oil. So on this piece, we did our initial application and then we sanded with about 4,000 grit. So this is gonna do a couple things. Number one, it's gonna give a more smooth and finely polished surface. It's just gonna feel better to, to the touch, but it's also going to further increase the clarity that you can achieve out of the resin. So as you can see, when this next coat of oil is going on, it's providing a really nice window into that natural edge of the wood. So it's gonna allow us, like I said, to see that wooden edge, but also pick up on more of those details in the resin that our client requested. So that blue and that gold flake is gonna show up way more because of this extra step. After the application of our oil and allowing it to cure for seven days, we can then come along and apply our ceramic coating. So this is just an additional layer of protection that can be used over any finished product. You don't have to use it over an oil or our oil even for that matter. You could use it over a urethane, it can go directly over stainless steel, it can go on your plastics. Just about anything that's a hard surface, this ceramic will bond to. The biggest benefits are gonna be the protection that you get. So it's gonna greatly increase your liquid and stain resistance by making the surface hydrophobic, but you're also going to get scratch resistance and UV resistance out of it. So at this point for us, it's really just a no-brainer for any project that's leaving our shop because at the end of the day, it is going to cost us less in maintenance and repairs and also save our clients money. To fit with the theme of being a signature Black Forest table, they've selected one of our signature bases, which is our X base. So this is a design that we came up with probably going on about five years now. And when I say came up with, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like it's some groundbreaking design that's completely changed furniture. It's really just two X's joined together uh, at a 90 degree angle to create this pedestal type support. But it has quickly become our most popular base option that we offer for our tables. For the joinery, we're securing that all with tight bond three as our adhesives. And then once that's done, we sand the piece up to 180 grit. So this client has opted for one of our blackened ash X bases to sit underneath this table, which is sometimes controversial to people here on, on social media. They say that we should never stain any wood and we should always leave it natural, but lots of our clients like the black because it ties nicely into some of these darker resin choices like this client has on her table. So if we wanted to do something natural, I guess we could have used ebony, but then we'd probably have about a $10,000 X base, which believe it or not, is not in most of our clients' budget for their tables. So that's why we opt for this blackened ash. So in this case, we're screwing steel plates onto the short X, which is gonna be used to fasten to the underside of the table. And then on the long X's, where it would land beneath the resin, we're just covering up that with some felt so that it's not gonna scratch the underside of the table. And since we have no plates there, we're not gonna have any holes coming up through the resin. And once we have this piece assembled, we're gonna throw some threaded inserts into the underside to allow for easy assembly.
flip it over and then it's off to our client's home before we get a true look at the finished product. This way, guys. Okay. Good morning, how are you this morning? Well, it's a beautiful day out. Yeah, this is exciting. Ah, we're a little early, but better than late. And here we are in our client's home to finally get a look at the finished product. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it is always such a special feeling when the clients have such a reaction to their pieces of furniture. And it's not every table that we build that we actually get to experience this on. So many of our pieces, we just ship them out. We don't get to witness that process. And if we're lucky, we get a photo from the client, but sometimes we don't. Sometimes they get the table and they go on their separate ways. So when we can share this moment with the client, it just, it makes it that much more memorable. To recap what we've used on this build, the top is created from Canadian black walnut slabs that we've paired with a smoky gray resin with added gold and blue flex. The base is a black and ash X base. We've used Black Forest products for the entire build, including our Black Forest deep resin, our Black Forest furniture oil, our Black Forest metallic pigments, and our Black Forest ceramic coating. Please let us know what you guys thought of this piece in the comments below, and we'll catch you next time. Sounds like they're good. Sounds like you've got all the bolts on already. We did. Yep. You just need to tighten yours, eh? Hey? It's done, isn't it? It is. It's it done. It's very nice in the space. The color is very cool. In this room, too, with that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Your furniture yeah. and everything, fantastic selection, yeah. I think it's right. Perfect. All like right. When I say it just in natural light, with yeah. the, the tones and the wood and everything. Yeah. So, they can just turn the lights off for the guys. Oh. <coughs> That's too far. It's got to come back this way a bit more. Oh, okay. We can't do that. It's going to be too far. Because then it'll be too tight for the buffet. I understand. Okay, I'll stay. Okay, right. come this way like a half a foot. Your way? It's, it's not no. terrible to move forward. Especially if you do it one end at a time. It's what do you have over there? Two and a half? Yeah. So you got 30 there. Yeah. Let's check that out. Yeah, I can yeah. steal your tape. I can do the other one. I think now. that's nice, just like that. I don't think it was too far offset. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's half an inch. Oh my God, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm with it half an inch. So, so I can go half an inch that way. That's and we've it. got a maintenance yeah. kit here. For the Show that to Haley. Haley, get it. Get that. This is their coasters. <laughs> a friend bought us these yeah. because we've been talking about the table and talking about the table. So they bought us coasters that say, "Don't I fuck up the table." Yeah, no, 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 no. Excellent. Well, like you know, it. to be serious, a little bit of common sense. I mean, I always look at the dining room table we have in our house, my wife and I. Yeah. And we bought this suite for three thousand dollars. We're here with Angela. We've just delivered her table Angela I think you're happy I we are thrilled not just me but Mario this is like this is like the table of our dreams you know like we went into Black Forest and we saw some of the work and then we came up with this design and from start to finish it's been a great experience but the table is stunning it's absolutely stunning with thank thrilled. you very thank much you. thank you very much it's okay. gorgeous all right that's excellent appreciate okay. that input yeah it's gorgeous. All right. Yeah. And you know, like from here, you see blue and gold. Yeah. Right? That's good. Can that's you good. see that? Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> like, I love that. Oh my God.